Hello, it's Phil here. I'm outside the World Trade Center in Gibraltar, which is where Digital DJ Tips is based. Uh, and I'm on my way home. I just thought I'd stop and share something with you, which has been on my mind. Today, we've been recording about technology. We've been recording about the stuff you need to buy in order to be a DJ, laptops, controllers, all that kind of thing. Uh, we've been surrounded by some pretty cutting edge stuff, to be honest. Uh, and um, in this vlog series, I'm kind of sharing behind the scenes stuff as we make all that material. We're making a new course called the Complete DJ Course. The Complete DJ Course is a huge course teaching everything about music, techniques, gear, playing out, promoting yourself and all that stuff. But we were talking about gear today and I remembered something that I saw online which really stuck out for me over the weekend, which was in the United Kingdom, there are 6,000 people who still have a black and white TV. They still have a television that isn't even color. So I was thinking, right, well, if there's 6,000 people who've got a black and white television in the UK, there has to be everyone from black and white TV all the way up to internet enabled goodness, right? The big curved 50 inch screens that I've got one of, I admit, but you know, and everything in between. But listen, here's the lesson for DJs. It's the same with DJ gear and it's the same with music. Let me talk you through both of those things. Let's do DJ gear first. Just because you have got cutting edge gear, it doesn't mean that everyone else has and it doesn't mean that you need to get even more cutting edge gear to get on as a DJ. Far from it. What you've got is good enough. That's the first thing. Second thing, if you want to play out, don't expect to find cutting edge gear when you go and play out. The point about DJing isn't the gear, it's about what you do with it and being able to use what's there for you. So people getting obsessed with gear, and I got onto this because we're doing the gear modules of the course at the moment, so obviously we're talking about it, but Bear in mind, it's only one module out of five. Our modules are gear, music, techniques, playing out and promoting yourself. Only one module about gear, right? So look, for those two reasons, the fact that you're not going to find great gear everywhere you go, and you better get used to it. You better get used to DJing on whatever you can find. But also, upgrading your gear isn't going to make you a better DJ. A really good points to learn from a DJ's point of view. But the second thing is music, right? So just like some people own black and white TVs, some people own big old cathode, cathode ray tube TVs, and some people have got the really cool ones. It's the same with music. You know, just because you're into cutting edge music, just because you've got the latest music, just because you're always looking for new sounds. And even if you're a commercial DJ, keeping up to date with the charts, and you think you're not very cutting edge, you think, oh, I just get chart music. Trust me, there are people still listening to stuff from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and now, and your job as a DJ is to try and see what it is, what level your crowd are up to uh, on average and play for everyone, not just the stuff that you think is what they want to hear because it's modern. We always think that our audiences are more educated than they are. We think that they are more up to date than they are. And that goes from underground crowds all the way up to commercial crowds. The truth is that a new song now for you is off the radar for other people. And a song that you're bored with it's probably only just coming on the radar for other people. So three months old, six months old, especially at the time of year I'm recording this at Christmas, anything from the last year, it's all fair game. And the final thing I want to say about music is it always builds on top of what came before. So it's just like technology builds on, cop on top of what came before. You might have old fashioned record decks, but you've got DVS running in a laptop. You ask any DJ now who plays to a commercial crowd and they'll tell you that they are playing modern music, yep, but they're also playing the big hits from the decades that have gone by. So just remember stuff builds on top of other stuff and new never fully replaces old. Right, so that is the kind of behind the scenes tip I wanted to give you. As I say, I'm trying to do one of these a week as we make the complete DJ course. I'm going to head into town now, grab, grab myself some food and relax. It's been a very long day uh, and I hope you enjoyed this. Meanwhile, get good, get out there, make the moments. I'll be back for another Learn to DJ DJ School vlog, uh, hopefully within a week or so. I'll see you then.